Hey guys, it's Jay with Maverick Agriculture. In this video, we're gonna go through some frequently asked questions about the T40 drone. The most common question we get is how much does the drone hold? With the liquid tank, it holds 10 and a half gallons, and the granular tank can hold up to 110 pounds of material. Now that number is gonna fluctuate based on the density of what you're spreading. If you're spreading fertilizer that's dense like urea, it's gonna hold more weight than a, you know, a grass seed. Grass doesn't weigh as much as urea, but we have to keep in mind that the max takeoff weight of the drone is 190 pounds. Next, we'll go into battery life. This is a hot topic with drones in general, and these T40 drones, they're doing a lot when they're in the air. You know, if they weigh 190 pounds, and you're dispensing a granular product, or if you just even have your liquid tank full, you're running pumps, you're running your propellers, you're, you're going at about 15 miles an hour when you're spraying, and uh, the batteries typically last about 10 minutes. Now, with the DJI 12,000 generator, you also can charge your batteries in 10 minutes, so the system will flow well if you have enough batteries on hand. Then another question we get a lot, how many batteries should I buy? I would say three for most growers. If you really wanna be safe, I would get four, but three should be enough in most situations. So continuing on about talking about the operation of the T40 drone. If you notice here, this is not your traditional T-Jet nozzle. It has a spray plate that atomizes the droplets. That allows you to change your droplet size on the fly. And there are different sets of plates for coarser droplets as well. But with these, you can expect about a 200 micron, micron droplet and a coarser plate will get you a coarser droplet than that, but this is what comes standard on the drone. The coarser plate is also included when you purchase the drone. It'll be in your box that your controller comes in. Now, as I said before, you're gonna get about a 33 foot spray pattern. Now, of course, that's dependent on wind. If it's really windy, you're gonna to wanna to shrink that down a little bit, and you could do all that off the interface of the remote. It's really handy. You do not need a computer to run this drone. You can run it right off your remote. It's a user-friendly interface. You can change your gallons per acre, all that stuff right on the fly. During a granular spreading operation with the dry tank, you are going to vary your pattern based on the density of your product. As we talked about before, your urea versus grass seed. Your grass seed is gonna have a different pattern than your urea, so you need to make sure that you calibrate your dry spreader and keep track of the pattern that you, that you throw out. Some products just aren't gonna make as nice of a pattern as others, and that's something the operator has to be mindful of. Well, staying on the topic of spread width, when you have a granular box installed on this drone, you have to be mindful of the material. I mentioned before, you know, an example with grass seed versus urea fertilizer, the densities of those two products are different, so they're gonna spread different. And even rye from, say, if you're seeding down a yard with, you know, Kentucky bluegrass, that is gonna be a different spread pattern than the other products. So you always have to make sure that you're calibrating your spread width and calibrating your spinner speed and all those things when you're in the granular operation. When it comes to setting up a field in your controller, you do not have to walk the field. You can just lay points out with your controller. It's a nice interface there. Or you can walk it and drop points that way based on your geolocation. You can also add shape files in, which we have videos on how to do all of that on our YouTube channel. Internet connection is required when it comes to getting your controller to talk to your drone to make sure it flies the right pattern. I always just use the hotspot off my phone, but there is a 4G dongle that you can plug into the remote that is included in your T40 package. Now the most important question of all, how much work will I get done with this T40 drone? Now using a liquid operation, spraying two gallons per acre, you can expect to be in that 40 acres an hour ballpark. If you're just starting to learn and you have to learn how to most efficiently fill and charge your batteries, you might be a little slower to start, but with practice you can get up to that 40 acre an hour threshold. Um, in a dry application, we have a customer that was spreading 55 pounds of rye an acre, and he, I watched him do it, he got 20 acres an hour done, which is pretty good for only having 110 pounds fit in the hopper. So once you get your processes down and become proficient with the drone and the setup, it is possible to get a lot of work done with this thing and pay it off quickly. All right, those were some frequently asked questions that we get a lot at trade shows, with call-ins, things like that. So I hope that helped you out in your process of deciding if a drone is right for you or not. If you have any questions, call the store or send us an email. My name is Jay with Maverick Agriculture. Don't forget to like and subscribe.